Okay, for another area perimeter maximization problem, uh, we are left with an area function of negative 2x squared plus 600x. So we're asked to graph it, right? So here we go. And again, not super useful. So we need to adjust those window settings. So use some logic, right? Uh, negative x values, right? We don't, we're not going to have a whole lot, so I'm, we're not going to be concerned with our negative x values. But I'm going to set it at negative fifty because this is going to be a pretty large scale, uh, sorry, pretty small scale uh, graph, right? So um, we're going to set it at negative fifty. The x maximum value, uh, we have six hundred meters of fencing roughly to deal with, so you can set it at five or six hundred. Let's do five hundred. I'm going to keep an x scale of uh, 50 because we're talking small scale again, so it's a pretty large graph. Uh, y minimum, uh, I'm going to say negative 5,000. And then a y maximum. So if we think about the fencing here, if we assume, this is just for assumption purposes, if we assume x, y, x and y are the same value, right? So 200, 200, and 200 for the three sides, right? Uh, the area is going to be 200 times 200, which is already 40,000. So let's set our uh, x y maximum at 50,000 just to give us a room. Let's see where it takes us. And let's do units of the y scale of 5,000. So let's see where that gets us. And there we go. So we can see the entire graph. Uh, determine the maximum area of the lot. So that should tell you we're looking for the vertex. So go to second, calculate. We're going to go into maximum, so do your thing here. Left bound right there, hit enter. Right bound right here, hit enter. Guess, yes. So it says the maximum occurs at x equals 150, y equals 45,000. So what that means is uh, to maximize the area to be 45,000 square meters, you need a width of 150 meters. So that's what it is saying.